get all these great reactions from people. I'm like, wow, they love it. And I, I love it too. And they want to support me. And um, so I'd say those are my favorite parts of making a game. Absolutely. And you know that as soon as you start a Kickstarter, I'm going to be there for Circadian because <laughs> I, and, and that's funny that you say that because I, 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 I think I've already said this in the video, but I'm going to say it again. When I first saw Circadian, I just fell in love with it. I mean, it is just, you were just doing such a good job on it. And, and actually that goes into our third topic, Circadian. <laughs> Um, so question number seven is how long has circadian been in development and is there an estimate on when the game will be released? So circadian was born in September of 2016. Uh, oh, okay. I just started messing around at home. Um, I started using the mono game, uh, API, which is, uh, not a game engine, but just uh, a library that you can use that can help you develop games and um i'd used it in the past and i really liked it so i was like okay well i want to use this and uh, i've always wanted to make an er a game inspired and that feels like earthbound and so i just started making a game i actually grabbed the nest sprite from earthbound and it was like all right i'm gonna get him moving around nice and so that was that was september and so um october rolled around and i started working on the battle system i'm like okay cool this this pretty cool and um uh, and then uh yeah uh december i did not work on it at all because i was shipping grave danger i was finishing up grave danger and i just right. did not have time to work on it on the side mm. and um in january i worked on it a little more uh but not much i was still working on grave danger a lot and then it was around march april of this year 2017 that i was like okay i am gonna take this seriously and i am gonna work on this all the time no oh, and shows. so <laughs> it was <laughs> <laughs> so about seven months ago in in march april i started working on circadian a lot and um it got to the point where people were i was posting videos and people were saying this is an earthbound rom hack they said you are <laughs> hacking earthbound I'm like, no, 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 this is a new game. And they're, and you'd be surprised how many people will send you hate mail and messages oh, and say, what are you doing? You suck. <laughs> because oh, you're man. making something that I'm like, because I'm making something that you love. I don't, I don't get it. Um, because people thought I was ripping off Earthbound. And the truth was it. It was, a, it was just a prototype, you know. Right. Um, and, um, and so... Uh, Around May of this year, I decided, okay, I'm going to change the game a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to make it way more original, and I increased the, the graphic size, because the, the graphic size was, uh, I was going straight Earthbound. It was like everything matched Earthbound at that point. And mm -hmm. so I, I, I doubled the resolution of the game. I made the sprites look a lot more unique, and uh, started just, you know, trusting myself more on design rather than just, like, doing what Earthbound did. Right. And so, um, so yeah, the game really took off about seven months ago. Uh, I started working on it a lot, and actually, most of the development has, was during the summer. This mm. the summer of twenty seventeen. I I did a lot. Nice, that's awesome. I came in at a good time then because I I first found you I think in September. So I came in at a at a pretty good time. I mean, obviously, I wish I got to see from the beginning. But yeah, no, I, oh, oh, sorry. What's I that? should send you. I'll send you some screenshots of like the very first, pit, like the very first screenshots of the game, because I, you know, I've been sharing on social media from the beginning, from like the very first prototype. So I'll send you some stuff your way so you can put it in the video. Awesome! Thank you so much. That's awesome. So, next question: uh, How many people are currently working on this project? So. The easy answer to that is one, me. Wow, um, that's awesome. I'm developing the programming, the artwork, uh, the story, the, the NPC script, the maps. Uh, no, so that's why I said the easy answer is one. Oh, uh, okay. But so here's the more complicated answer. Um, I am I am sourcing uh, music from uh, friends who 
uh, are basically donating music to me. And there's also, there's so much royalty free music out on the web. Right. And, it, and I am using mostly royalty free music that I found that um, actually I, I usually pick tracks that don't really, aren't really used very like in other projects. And it's actually funny because I, you know, I was saying earlier that you'd be surprised how many people will tell you your game's way too similar to Earthbound. People have told me, you need to redo all the music. Wow. And it's like, well, the fact of the matter is, this music was not made in the context of Earthbound whatsoever. I just chose it because it reminds me of Earthbound. Right, right. Um, and then uh, I definitely need to give credit to my fiance. She has been... Uh, I've been kind of in a slump because I've been changing jobs and going through a lot of stuff and we recently moved and all this stuff. Uh, so she decided, like she said, you have not been working on this game enough. And she started developing uh, battle sprites enemies for me. And she's just doing an amazing job and, and people are loving it. And, uh, and she was just killing it. She made like six enemies in three days and, and she's an artist and a web developer. So, um, I've actually been trying to get her to help me more and more over the last year, and she finally uh, helped me, and I'm really, I really appreciate it. And she's so uh, my fiance has been helping me make the game as well. So I'd say the game could probably you could probably officially put uh, the number as two people working on the game. Wow, that is awesome for you guys watching at home. You got to get a fiance like Jeff who who does it all. <laughs> Because that is, yeah. <laughs> that is that is literally so awesome that your that your future wife supports you with 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 your hobby. That is so cool. I love that. Yeah, we're fortunate because we we met at a game studio working together, so um, it was meant to be. I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, good for you, man. That's awesome. All right, so question number 10. And I, I feel like we've kind of answered this because cause you've get, been giving me all these different things. But um, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll exit anyway just to see if we, you know, can, can bring up any good discussion. Um, does this game bring anything new to the table that, you know, maybe Earthbound or Undertale? And I'm sorry I keep bringing Undertale in because it's, you know, it's, it's just kind of similar. You know, it's obviously, I know this game is inspired by earthbound not undertale but um oh no but um but yeah is there anything that would you say would make uh circa dean different from from those two games so you know you have to give uh undertale a lot of credit uh because they it has uh reawoken the fan base and actually garnered new fans uh and made people play earthbound because people who never heard of Earthbound played Undertale, and then they hear about Earthbound, right. and then they hear about Circadian, and and so I, uh, I gotta I gotta hand it to Toby Fox, you know, thank you very much because you know it before Earthbound was kind of this niche title that not really a lot of people talked about, right. and now it seems like its popularity is on the rise. Um, so what does my game bring? So, uh, it obviously has a huge inspiration from Earthbound, uh, but so what I'm trying to do is kind of expand on the battle system and the, um, so, uh, like, um, you can rearrange your party and the order in which attacks happen is based on your party's order. And then, oh, okay. um, the interactions you have with NPCs are also affected by who is at the front of the party. So you're not just, you know, assumed to be the silent protagonist with people in the back. You are whoever you put up front. Mm -hmm. And there's also a day-night cycle in Circadian. So Ooh, cool. the sun goes up and down and uh, different enemies and different NPCs will be around. Wow, I like that. Nice. Wow, and that's um awesome yeah it's uh i it was just something that uh, i just said you know what i want a day night cycle and then it and then it happened in a <laughs> and <laughs> so that's really nice but, um, 
so there's also some other aspects that uh, I have not developed yet, but I am looking to do. Um, I'm sure you've heard of Stranger Things, the TV series on Netflix. Yes. Um, so a lot of people are associating Earthbound with Stranger Things. I don't know if you know that. I didn't know that, actually, because I, ha- I haven't watched Stranger Things, but I've obviously heard of it from all the, the hype. But okay, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, I've seen crossovers. Like, they'll draw the Stranger Things characters as the Earthbound characters, and it's like, wow, they really do cross over, right. and they really do have the psychic powers, and it's kind of crazy. And, um, and, and they even use baseball bats as weapons. <laughs> uh, right, it, right. It's, it's crazy. And... Um, and so they have, I know you haven't seen it, but they have some, something called the Upside Down in Stranger Things, which is like an alternate universe and, or dimension, not universe, an alternate dimension. Mm-hmm. And so um, some of the characters can go in and out of that. So I kind of want to incorporate that into Circadian where it's like this, this other world that like cool. is the same world, but um, it's kind of like a dark dimension. Right. Um, in Earthbound, there it did kind of have that. It was uh, what's the place in Foreside? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, when everything goes like you, you talk, like you go behind the jukebox or whatever, or in the yeah, cafeteria yeah. in that cafe, and then everything changes and everything gets so trippy. <laughs> Seriously, that place freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, when I first saw that. I, I had to watch first of all I actually had to watch a because it's it's so confusing because you're constantly being teleported to different parts of mm-hmm. uh, Foreside and I actually had to watch uh, <laughs> this guy his name is Chuck Conroy he's a huge Earthbound fan and he uh, did a let's play on it and I had to watch his his let's play on how to get through Foreside during that stage because it, it's very confusing but it's so much fun it's like I, I see that's the thing I love about Earthbound and actually this leads me into my next question I I think I love Earthbound because I love the witty dialogue I love that you can fight an enemy and you attack them and you're low on HP and you're like oh I really hope they don't attack and then the dialogue says you know that the angry mole picked his nose or something <laughs> you know it's just a, like I love witty dialogue like that and do you think that any of that like humor will be in circadian oh absolutely i mean it's already built into it um uh, you know uh an enemy will just idle about and do uh, put, say some funny dialogue or something that was one of my favorite things too in earthbound is um you know uh, like a, a crazy party man will like say something derogatory to you and your guts go down or something <laughs> <laughs> like, what, right. what is this game? this is crazy yeah, so absolutely, I'm I'm trying to harness the spirit of the quirkiness of Earthbound into Circadian, absolutely. 